Hello guys and welcome to Freebird's Crew and this is our next video in logistic regression and in this video I will tell you about the binary logistic regression project so in this project cover every topic of data science project life cycle okay so let's get started so first we just up, uh, import all the like necessary libraries we need and we use the data set of the titanic data set package from the Kegel okay and uh, we first upload pandas, numpy, metrotip, cbon along with the sklearn like uh, you to do the some kind of a feature engineering like uh, uh, label encoder, test train split and at the end for model evaluation we get the accuracy score, cross validation score and classification report as well okay okay so first we uh, just load the data here and this is how our data looks like okay we have the Singer ID, survived, P class, name, and all the data we have. We need to predict what? We need to predict the survived column here. That is a 0, 1. That is, it is a binary classification problem because it has only two labels. That is, two di uh, discrete labels. Okay. And if we load the test class data here and it does not have the survived column here, we need to predict this whole test class. Okay. Okay. So first, we just check about like how our data actually looks like if it has the null values or any kind of the kind of values has or not. Okay, we we check the properly about the data types of our data as well if they are into the correct data types or not and they are already correct. Okay, then we check about the how many pe people's actually survived or not survived in the data as well. And we see that uh, the the number of survivors is actually less as compared to not survived. Okay. And then we see that uh, how many males uh, survived and how many females uh, survived as well. And from this uh, data, you can see more females are survived here. Just you see the Titanic movie as well. The At the last, the boy just drowned. At least there, there is some space on that float. Uh, next thing we have is the uh, the PC class. The class like uh, it's kind of a uh, economy class and a class kind of thing. So how many B -B -B -B, uh, people of those class survived? So of course the class 1 people survived most and class 2 are less and class 3 are uh, approximately less than the class 1. What is the like uh, average age of the peoples in each class so in the class one we have the uh, peoples of the age uh, 25 to uh, 50 and in the class two we have the peoples of the age to 25 to 40 and in the class three peoples to age of the 25 to 35 okay and then we just uh, try to get the null values that how many null values are in our uh, test data and in our train data we found that the age column and the cabin column and bart column as the null values okay and in our uh, test data we have a null value in the fair column as well okay and then we just uh, try to do the data cleaning and feature engineering so first we see that our name column has some kind of dots and commas brackets as well we need to like impute we need to like uh, remove or replace the, these kind of uh, uh, extra uh, junk values okay so we do this kind of things from uh, here as well we just get the initials from uh, the data here we get the uh, the names like miss mrs and jonkins others and all kind of things from this data here and then we get the age of each person because we need to impute the age variable as well okay we get the mean age of each person that master's age is four because we can say that in the old times the smaller children are called the masters so their age is around like four years or uh, five years as well and the missus and mister and missus and other these are the ages of all the people's as well so we need to uh, impute the age according to the their uh, initials okay so we do this same thing here okay and here we apply it and impute it in the age column and then the cabin column not required so we just uh, removed it and uh, the embarked column we just like fill it with the mod value because it is a categorical uh, variable and in the, the test column it is just only one 
uh, and in the fifth column, it is just only one null value. We just impute it with the mean value. Okay, and then we just uh, uh, build a kind of a family kind of a, a column here that just uh, ab about to uh, joining these two columns. That is uh, sip sip or parch. These two columns are actually uh, shows that they have any kind of uh, uh, siblings or not. Okay, that 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 just make a whole. Uh, the family kind of a tree kind of a thing at that point okay and then we just need to process the age we just need to process the age as in just fill the any values because the values which are not filled with this method are filled with the uh, 0.5 in the minus categories and we just uh, put them into the categories as uh, the age categories we have that is from minus 1 to 100 okay and we make them the uh, labels like missing, infant, child, teenager, young adult, seniors. This, this is the age we can get in that. And we just make the uh, categorical column out of the age column as well. Okay, so this is how it is like look like. There are like more infants are in our data set. Okay, and then we just create dummies because create dummies can easily help us to uh, get all the categorical variables into the numerical variables as well okay and after creating the dummies as well we just remove the columns which are not re required like name sex ticket p class c class embarked because these columns are actually not required because we actually need only those which actually help us to predict the who will survive and who, who will survive not because the senior citizens the in infants are not able to survive at this at that situation but the adults or young ones will be able to survive very clearly okay so we need to uh take only those columns as well we just build a logistic regression function here we just get the columns our uh, and then fit those columns on the model okay and then do the test train split again here for the validation data as well and when we do and get the our accuracy matrices we got this okay that clearly shows we have accuracy of 80 percent okay our model will be able to uh, predict the zeros with 82 percent precision and 80 percent recall so that's actually a very great model here but if we but if we do a little e e little more work on our model to do the cross validation as well then our model's ac accuracy will be increased our model accuracy will be increased from 80 percent to 80.8 percent if we just do the cross validation here okay and then here we can just uh, put that uh, model to predict our test data as well and here how it looks like Okay, guys, so that's how your actual whole machine learning model or whole machine learning project by using the binary classification looks like. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. In our next video, I will tell you about the multi-class logistic regression project. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.